If you think public housing complexes have few fans, a visit to Tokyo might change your mind. The attraction of these complexes, known as Donchi, is more than aesthetic. These developments embody the aspirations of Japan's war-weary citizens for better lives and retain a place in the popular imagination. By the mid-1950s, Japan's post-war recovery was stalling in one key area, housing. The country needed to build three million homes. To address this issue, the government established the Japan Housing Corporation to provide public housing for blue and white collar workers pouring into urban hubs like Tokyo. These workers would form the backbone of a new middle class. The Donchi, whose name means group land, were not just inexpensive, easy to build complexes. They were fitted with amenities virtually unattainable elsewhere, stainless steel sinks, toilets, a private bedroom, and kitchen. People jumped at the chance to pilot this modern lifestyle and participate in the grand social experiment. Architects and officials envisioned a reorientation of living space that would house nuclear families, elevate women, promote privacy, and encourage consumer lifestyles. These complexes were essentially groundbreaking suburban commuter towns self-contained communities with their own shops, police boxes, clinics, and schools. The typical JHC Donchi was often a cluster of five-story concrete buildings, usually built on the outskirts of Tokyo and other cities. Buildings ranged from simple boxes to the iconic Y-shaped Star House, a triple-pronged tower whose structure offered better natural light and circulation. The Donchi's true selling points were their amenities and floor plans, typically featuring two bedrooms with a kitchen and dining area, known as a 2DK, a model that could be scaled up or down to one or three bedrooms. The designs were a radical departure from pre-war houses, which contained multi-use rooms and a kitchen concealed at the back. Post-war reformers argued the old style wasn't just unsuitable for modern life, but also reinforced feudal social structures. The new model penetrated the cultural consciousness. In 1960, Prince Akihito and his wife visited a Tokyo Donchi, cementing the middle-class values it symbolized. But the experiment also had some unintended consequences. Women's initial euphoria over the Donchi was followed by a sense of confinement as husbands left to work in the city. The liberation promised by privacy gave way to isolation and a lack of community. As housing shortages eased from the mid-1970s, Donchi construction trailed off. This has led to widespread demolitions in recent years. Some, however, have been renovated to make them more suitable to a variety of lifestyles and senior-friendly. Some Donchi renovations are going further boosting a community feel by remodeling public spaces around the units. The Yokodai Danchi renovation project in Yokohama, led by renowned architect Kengo Kuma, is once again trying to put these complexes at the forefront and provide a model for the future. Danchi remain a testing ground for the intersection of architecture and social change in Japan.